Hey everybody, welcome to Ottawa Sword Plays Drill Class for January 23rd. Uh, we are still in the midst of our shutdown renovations, so a big chunk of the floor has been uh, pulled up. Just gonna give a little bit of a, uh, you can see even the line that I normally start my footwork drills from is not really available to me anymore. Uh, so this is going well and once we're able to sword fight in person again, it's going to be fantastic. Uh, last week, Sean and Marla did a class, and they focused on the Krum Pow, uh, the Waker, and a good follow-up to that is always going to be the Thwarter, that's Fair How, which is our uh, third hidden strike, uh, and the one that there is the most for. And we're going to get to that, we're going to do some other stuff first, and we're going to work on one specific aspect of the thwarter because there are a lot. But as always, we're gonna start with our uh, foundational uh, activities. So, weight on the balls of your feet, feet about shoulder width apart, rotating all the way to one side, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all right, and we're gonna do the windshield wiper exercise. So you wanna hold your sword in the thumb grip, point it all the way to one side, and when you're doing your right hand, you can switch from long grip to half sorting. So, like so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all right, and with the left hand, don't worry about switching back and forth. Worry about the off hand if you're left handed. And one, two. Remember to keep your elbow tucked close to your side and your forearm parallel to the floor. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, and we're gonna do the sukin exercise. So you're gonna hold the sword pointed forward in the middle, uh, in a true iron gate. Uh, and we're gonna pull the sword back to one hip, extend forward, and then pull back to the opposite hip. All right, so one, two, three, remember to keep your arms relaxed and long. You want all of this uh, wait, well, you don't want to bend up your arms like a team mix. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, uh, and we're going to do the one for our rotator cuffs. My shoulder is gradually improving, uh, so this is much less bad for me than it used to be. And we're going to rotate down and up. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And switch to the other side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. All right. And uh, last but not least, we're going to flip from the handshake grip up into the thumb grip. And remember, we want the cross guard to be in line with our wrist in the handshake grip. And then when we flip up into the thumb grip, cross guard is making a T with our wrist. So on the right hand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to switch to the left hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, excellent. Uh, so we're going to do two footwork exercises today. Uh, they're both going to be types of passing steps forward and we're going to be applying them to the techniques that we're working on. 
So we're going to start with spring steps, which are our wide passing steps with a triangle step added on. So if I'm, I'm going to start out facing you for demonstration purposes. I'm standing with my left foot pointed forward, slightly out. My right foot is in line with, uh, the heel is in line with my front foot and pointed a little bit more wide. And when I do the spring, I'm going to step with my back foot. I'm not going to pivot my hips first. I'm just going to step to the side here and then I'm going to bring this foot around. Now at this point we could rotate our front foot to come back into line but I don't need to if I'm going to do another step where I'm passing here then bringing this foot around like so. All right so uh, I'm going to do this across the room from here and if you run out of space turn around and go back the other way. Today we're only going forward we're not doing backward steps at all. So from here, it's going to be pass, triangle, 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 pass, triangle. And we're going to go back the other way, doing the same thing. Pass, triangle, 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 pass, triangle. All right. So, uh, those are kind of our wide passing steps. And what we're gonna do next is a very tight version of our passing steps. So if I'm facing forward again, what we're gonna do is do that foot rotation on the balls of the feet. And uh, if we imagine that I'm actually kind of on a forward line here, now when I pass forward, I'm passing along that line. And then I'm gonna rotate on the balls of my feet again and I'm passing forward, staying on that same tight line. We can do this even tighter where I pass across the line, but if we do this repeatedly, by the time I'm going here, my feet are getting tangled. We want to avoid that. Sometimes you got to do it. Not today for this part. So I'm going to actually work right along this line today. So I'm starting with my front foot pointed straight forward on this red line. My back heel is on that line as well. And so I do the foot rotation, pass forward, and I'm on that line. Foot rotation, pass forward, and I'm on that line. Foot rotation, pass forward, 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 and back the other way. Foot rotation, pass forward, foot rotation, pass forward, rotate, pass, rotate, pass, rotate, pass, rotate, pass, rotate, pass, rotate, pass, rotate, pass. All right. So those are the two kinds of footwork we're going to use today. Um, and we're going to start out with incorporating a little bit of the sword with that second one. And the tight passing steps are going to be the main one we use today, and then we're going to come back to the wide springs later. So one instance that is fairly straightforward where we might be using those steps is if I'm in the guard and I want to do an and sets in or an ab sets in, I'm going to bring my sword across, rotate my feet, and pass forward along that line. And I'm using my sword as a, uh, as a barrier between me and the other person. I'm putting it in place first, and I'm following in a tight line right behind that to offset the other person's threat. All right? So we're gonna do the same thing as we did. I'm gonna go across the room with this. I'm gonna start on my right-hand side in the board guard. I'm going to extend to the left board, rotate, pass. Extend, rotate, pass. Extend, rotate, pass. Extend, rotate, 
pass, extend, rotate, pass, extend, rotate, pass, extend, rotate, pass. And turn around, go back the other way. Extend, rotate, pass, 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 one more, extend, rotate, pass. All right, so that pass with an and sets in or add sets in uh, ties into a lot of other techniques. And one of them is the abschneiden, the off slicing. So this is a technique that is also part of the vexel how, the change strike. And when we do it with the change strike, we do a big strike all the way to the floor. We look like we've overswung. Our opponent comes in with their threat and we slice up to deflect their sword out of the way, rotate, and fall in with that and sets it. Uh, for our purposes today, we're going to be doing the drive the pommel down to bring the sword up, rotate to bring the sword across, extend, and pass forward. And it does all blur together, so I'll do a couple, we'll do five, where we really break it down, and then I'm going to smooth it out a little bit. All right? So it will be uh, drive the pommel, rotate the feet, extend, pass. All right? That's how we'll do that. So we'll do five like that. So drive the pommel, rotate the feet, extend, pass. Drive the pommel, rotate the feet, extend, pass. Drive the pommel, rotate the feet, extend, pass, that's three. Drive the pommel, rotate the feet, extend, pass, and drive the pommel, rotate the feet, extend, pass. Now the thing is, if I'm driving the pommel and then I'm rotating the feet, it changes the nature of this action. My swords come up and then I'm pushing it across. We actually want this to all to be in one so that I'm slicing the other person's blade away. So we're going to, now it's important that the drive starts and the rotation feeds immediately afterwards, and then we're extending and following right after. So it's gonna be abschneiden and set, or abschneiden, you know what, slice, thrust. That's what we'll go with. So it'll be slice, thrust, good? So 10 of these, slice, thrust, reset, slice, thrust, reset, slice, thrust, reset, slice, thrust, reset, slice, thrust, that's five, slice, thrust, slice, thrust, slice, thrust, two more, slice, Thrust, last one, slice, thrust. All right, now, I like to do the Abschneiden from left to right. I don't like it very much on the other side. We're gonna do it anyway. So in this case, I'm starting left foot forward and my hands are in a crossed hand caliber or vessel foot or a gate guard. And again, I'm gonna drive the pommel, rotate the feet, extend, and pass forward. Except for this one, we're just gonna jump straight to slice, thrust. So we do wanna make sure the pommel leads, rotating as we go, sword leads, body feet fall. All right? So, 10 of these, slice, thrust. Reset, slice, thrust. Reset, slice, thrust, reset, slice, thrust, reset, slice, thrust, that's five, slice, thrust, reset, slice, thrust, three more, slice, thrust, two more, slice, thrust, last one, slice, thrust. 
All right, so that's the Ab Schneiden, and I really like it. Uh, there's a bit of a paradox, as there often is with sword fighting, uh, about this, because I'm driving my blade up to intercept the sword that is coming down. And the sword coming down has gravity helping it, so we really need to drive that pommel down to get that gravity assist, but also the leverage assist. This is a short part of the lever, and it's driving a long part of the lever, so that long part is going to go super fast. All right. Now, I said at the beginning that we're working on the spare half, the quarter, but we've been doing action I can. Why? Well, one of the versions of the quarter that we look at is related to this. It comes from a low guard. So, in this case, I'm actually going to start left foot forward for the first one. I'm going to do that same thing where I'm going to drive here, but then I'm going to turn into the thumb grip, cut, and step. All right? And here, sorry, turn into the thumb grip, rotate the feet, cut, and step. So we're going to do five of these very broken down. Uh, and then we're going to do more detail. Sorry, one more thing I want to point out. Driving the pommel down, turning into the thumb grip, rotating the feet, cutting, and I'm stepping. And this is a tight passing step. I'm actually stepping across the line because I'm trying to choke up my opponent's attack. All right? So five in detail. Drive the pommel, thumb grip, rotate the feet, cut, pass. Reset. Drive the pommel, thumb grip, rotate the feet, cut, pass. Reset. Drive the pommel, rotate into the thumb grip, rotate to the feet, cut, pass. That's three. Drive the pommel, thumb grip, rotate, cut, pass. Last one. Drive the pommel. Into the thumb grip, rotate the feet, cut, pass. All right. So as we did with the Abschneiden, we're now going to blur this all together. And so we're going to drive up into Sprechfenster, rotate, cut, and it'll be drive, rotate, cut. That's what we're going to say. All right. So 10 of these, drive, rotate, cut. Reset, drive, rotate, cut, 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 three more, drive, rotate, cut. Reset, drive, rotate, cut. Getting ahead of myself, last one, best one. Drive, rotate, cut. All right, we can do the same thing on the opposite side, my preferred action side. So I'm going to drive. Now when I come up here, my cut is coming in this way. So the thumb grip transition, as always, going to, <laughs> going from left to right for a right-hander is less noticeable. So it's going to be drive, rotate, cut. All right? Now I'm going to face you for each one, so we're going to do 10. So drive, rotate, cut, reset, 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 drive, rotate, cut, drive, rotate, cut, three more, drive, rotate, cut, drive, rotate, cut, last one, drive, rotate, cut. All right. So, I like to do this version most often because it gets right in under my opponent's threat, it chokes up their attack, it stops it in the middle. 
sometimes it's not the right thing. And I'm not going to actually go into too much about why, but sometimes we would rather go wide and get out from underneath it. So we're, <coughs> sorry, we will never do the wide step with the Abschneide in any circumstance that I have ever thought. With the quarter, we will. So that's what we're going to look at now. And I'm going to go back to my left foot forward stance here. So as before, I'm going to drive up and I'm coming into that Sprechfenster. But I'm not going to rotate my hips at all. I'm now going to step and I'm starting my cut and then I'm doing my triangle step to finish the cut. All right, so it's going to be drive, step, triangle. All right, and we're going to do 10 of these. So drive, step, triangle. Reset, drive, step, triangle. Reset, drive, step, triangle. Reset, drive, step, triangle. Reset, drive, step, triangle. Drive, step, triangle. Drive, step, triangle. Three more. Drive, step, triangle. Drive, step, triangle. Last one. Drive, step, triangle. All right. So, as before, we can do that on the right, and we can do it on the left. This is one of the most symmetrical uh, techniques that we have. So, uh, from the left, it's going to be the same. I'm going to drive. I'm not going to rotate my hips. I'm going to step, and I'm starting that cut in, and then the triangle step finishes the cut. All right? So, drive, step, triangle. Reset, drive, step, triangle. Drive, step, triangle. Drive, step, triangle. Drive, step, triangle. That's five. Drive, step, triangle. Drive, step, triangle. Three more. Drive, step, triangle. Drive, step, triangle. Last one. Drive, step, triangle. All right, so <clears throat> that's a little lesson that I had on the board, but I've got some time, so I'm gonna give you a little extra use of this. And uh, this technique is most clearly described in Le Kushner's Messerfechten. Uh, and it's a little bit uh, of a funny one. Uh, it is a failure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive, and I'm gonna step, but I'm only gonna step halfway. So I brought my feet together. And we didn't practice this footwork before because I wasn't expecting to do it. And then I'm gonna cut around and step again with my left foot. So from the side, I'm driving, stepping halfway, and then stepping again with my left foot. And the idea here is, that this part makes it look like my attack is coming in on this side, and then I quickly cut back to the other side. All right? <clears throat> so, the thing will be drive, right, left. Okay? That's how we're going to do this. If you are left-handed, do it on the other side. We're only going to do it on one side. So, drive, right, left. Reset. Drive, right, left. Reset. Dr oh. Drive, right, left. I started to flow that together a bit. Drive, right, left. Reset. Drive, right, left. Reset. Drive, right, left. Reset. Drive, right, left. Reset. Three more. Drive, right, left, drive, right, left, last one, drive, right, left. 
That is one of my favorite trick techniques. Uh, the only other information I'll give about it, I'm trying to draw a response. So I want them to parry on this side, and then I'll cut on their open side. So what if they don't fall for it? Well, once I've come to here, if they have not guarded already, they are too late to guard. So I will just actually follow through with the initial intention. <clears throat> a feint or failure is always an attack meant to draw a response. It will only draw a response if it looks real. The way to make it look real is to make it real enough that if it doesn't draw a response, you can do it and hit the person anyway. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little bit out of breath. Hopefully you are as well. That's it for today's class, and hopefully I'll see you next Saturday, and hopefully it won't be too long before we can do this in person again. Have a good day.